so now in this video we will connect our application to the firebase okay so open the browser and in here search for firebase console okay click on first one firebase console okay in here I'm already logged in in my Gmail as you guys can see in here at the top on the right side okay and right after click on this get started okay in here we will create a project in here click on this now we will give a name to the project okay so we will name this as a photo sharing con app okay then click continue we will disable this because we don't need this okay and then create a project this will take some time just wait for a while so our new project is ready click continue and right in here we will click on this android okay because we are working in the android so click on this now in here we will simply register the app so now in here we will need a package name okay for this so we will go back to the android studio now right in here we will simply go and click on this android open it now click on this ape open it and open this build or gradle okay in here we will simply copy this application id okay or we can also edit this so i will simply remove this from the start and I will write my name in here you guys can also write your name okay or you can type anything in there so right after we will copy that application ID go back to the firebase now in here paste it okay like this all good now you can give the nickname to the project we will name this as a photo sharing clone app okay it's fine in here now we will simply register the app now right in here we will simply download the google services json file okay so simply click on this it's downloaded now now in here click on this show in folder as you guys can see in here it's right inside my download folder okay so we will simply cut this from here okay go back to the android studio in here first we will close this builder gradle okay and now right in the android and then on this app right click and then simply paste it okay click okay as you guys can see the json file right here okay now let me show you right inside the app there we go google services json file okay so it's added now you simply close date now we will go back to the firebase let's do a further working now click next now right in here we will copy that class path okay this one just simply click on this and it's copied to the clipboard okay now what we will do we will simply go to the project to the android studio and we will add this right inside the build.gradle okay on the project level so let's go to the android studio now right in here open this android and in here as you guys can see that build.gradle okay open that in here we will simply paste this right inside in this dependencies okay right in there you simply paste it like that okay now simply close that okay 
and now we will go back to the Firebase in here scroll down now we have to copy this apply plugin okay this one copy it go back to the Android studio and we have to store this inside the project app module and then build.gradle okay app module so let's do that in here open this Android right inside Android open this app and open this build.gradle okay right inside the app okay this one now we will go down and down in here right after these dependencies just simply paste it like that okay so simply now close this build.gradle all good now go back to the firebase all done now click next in here continue to console now we will simply go to the authentication right in here as you guys can see okay click on that in here click on this get started in here click on this email password and we will enable this okay click save as you guys can see email and password enabled okay because we will use this email and password in our project so we have to enable that in order to access it okay so right after now first let me show you the dependencies okay for the firebase that we added before okay so we will go right in here to the postpack.yaml in here as you guys can see we have already added this firebase auth okay for the firebase authentication and also right after we added the firebase core okay and we also added this firestore database okay for accessing it okay also we added a storage okay so in a while we will work on that in a firebase on it okay so let's close that from here and we will go back to the firebase to do some work right there now in here first we will go to the firestore database as I told you before okay we already added the dependencies okay and now we will create a database in here so we will start this in a test mode okay and then click next enable there we go our database is ready to go okay and we will be using that in the future whenever we add database right in here okay so the next thing we will do we will simply set the rules for it in order to access that okay so click on rules right in here at top okay as you guys can see in here we will simply remove that line of code and we will say right in here if true okay so it will only read and write the data if it's true okay then fine we will simply in here click on publish change is done now we will simply go to the storage okay click in here so in here right in the storage we will set the rules for it in order to access that okay so whenever we upload the photos from the specific user so we will store that right inside in the storage okay so in order to access that we will simply remove that false from here okay and we will say true okay all good now just simply click on this publish okay it's done now as you guys can see now 
all the working are done right in here and our app is successfully connected to the file base okay and we also created the firestore database and we also set the rules for it and also the storage okay now we will simply go back to the android studio and that's it for this video right in the next studio we will work further